All right, hello everybody, welcome back. It is Jeff again, and I'm coming to you from the Minecraft server. I'm still where we left off, just out at that new Nether Hub portal. I'm actually streaming right now. I'm using the broadcast feature that they've added in to Minecraft to directly broadcast to Twitch, so there is a live audience here. And I'm doing this as an episode, though, and not actually like with communication to the audience as much as I have done in the past when I do these, but... What my point of today is, I should actually jump off and get this. <laughs> jump off! There we go. <laughs> and get this lead. Um, my point for today is I'm still on the hunt for a donkey. And I know many of you guys keep telling me, you're like, just go to the donkey breeding area. Go to the donkey breeding area. And as good of an idea as that is, it's... It's still something I want to do on my own for at least the first one. I want to to get a donkey for myself. Oh, that's my Z going down, actually. I want my Z to go up. Actually, I want both numbers to kind of go up. Which way would that be? This way? Right into the ocean, that would be. Let's see if I can loop around here. And I know last time I did this, it, uh, it definitely... I got turned around, went in some circles, etc., etc. But I, I am not against doing donkey breeding, but I want to find that first one that I actually use for something my on my my own. And I did find some donkeys before that, you know, perished and all that fun stuff. I, I discussed that in the last episode, but I still want to find this set of donkeys on my own first. I'm so afraid that this is just like ocean right next to me. Which a lot of it is. I see there's got to be something over here though. Wherever this thing's trying to render at. But it's not loading fast enough for me to really understand what's going on. I mean that's got to be a combination between me broadcasting as well as recording with Fraps. Is why this thing is not loading up nearly as well as it should. I might not be able to go this way just for that specific purpose. Um... While we're on this journey, though, I uh, wanted to talk to you guys about an interesting fact I found out today. Today at work, I uh, the second half of my day, I actually had to take a, a TAB class, or a TIAB, um, and it stands for Therapeutic Interventions for Aggressive Behavior. And it's so I can be completely credentialed to still be able to work on the floor as well. So I've it was the final class I had to take to, like, get my credentials, like, relocked back in so I'm adequately able to go function on the floor as a fully certified and qualified floor nurse. Um, I see villagers. Wait, is this a desert village? <laughs> it's not my desert village, I'm sure, but it is a desert village. Or it's just somebody built some stuff to make it look like a desert village. And unfortunately, I am really, really having a tough time with terrain generation and my horse movement as well. But in this class, one of the things that was was discussed was about communication and part of it it was pretty cool it was relatively interactive a lot of parts of it were boring of course because you have to get that you know standard textbook type stuff out of the way like what do you need to learn out of this class um you know the objectives and there's a lecture portion but then there was i can't say a hands-on portion per se but there was a more interactive type portion and they were asking some multiple choice questions throughout the class just to get to gauge what do you think the uh, the response to or the answer to this question is going to be. One of them was what percentage of communication do you believe is based on body language? Meaning when I talk to you, not about what I'm saying, but how much of what I'm saying that your understanding of what I'm saying is based on the body language. Somebody's telling me F3A. We'll see if it works. Oh my god. It helped. I tried it before and it didn't work as well, but I guess I can try it a couple more times because it does seem to be doing okay. Um, but what percentage of your of your communication is actually based on body language? And the answer, I guessed it correctly from the multiple choice guesses, but my guess was 50%, which turned out to be true. Now, I completely believe that. I completely believe that 50% of communication is body language. But the more interesting thing is when they went to the next slide, which actually broke down 
communication in all forms and things like that. And it broke it down into a pie chart. And the pie chart showed half of it was cut out and it was 50% and it was body language. And then it was 40% was tone of voice and 10% was the words you use. And that actually really intrigued me saying 10% of what I say is all that's portrayed. And the other 90% of my communication is based on the fact of, I wonder if this has been claimed. And the other 90% of my communication with people is based on body language and tone of voice. And that's an amazing number to me that it's that low for actually what you say being the, um, being how you communicate with stuff. And I think about it in the aspect of, <laughs> I think <laughs> this fence post, this, uh, this rope could slide right on down this fence post and that horse could escape, but not in Minecraft. Doesn't work that way. Let's scope this village out a little bit, see if it's been ransacked yet. Because if not, it will get a sign and it will be my village. Um, But it really intrigued me mainly because of what I do on the, oh my god, potatoes. Uh, I've missed you, potatoes. Haven't had you all season except the one part time that I did and I lost the potato. I got it from a zombie drop and I planted it and instantly got blown up by a creeper. So I no longer had that. I should grab some wheat as well because I think I first, I don't remember what you feed them anymore. I know you breed them with something a little more extravagant than you used to, but I'm gonna grab that anyway. Um, but be, being on a YouTube, think we're like a comment-based system. Like, I can communicate with you guys all day long. You can hear the tone of my voice. You can't hear my body language. That is true. But I can make up for that probably a little bit better because I'm physically talking to you guys with a tone of voice. Whereas when you guys comment to me right now, the live feed in the comments, uh, or if you guys just comment to me through, you know, the YouTube comments or, <laughs> heaven forbid, the Google Plus comments, um, if you guys... This is the strangest setup ever. It was like there was a hole here and it still built a a village around it and then just plopped it down farther. Why is there a zombie coming over here? But, yeah, with the comments, that means basically, I, in theory, am only understanding 10% of what you guys are trying to get across because I can't tell your body language. I obviously can't tell your tone of voice because you don't have a tone of voice because it's all one thing. And I'll tell you, I've made the mistakes before. There is no chests in this damn village. I should see what they're trading, actually. 11 books for an emerald? That's not bad at all, actually. Um, so it's really interesting to me to think that so much stuff is lost when you guys try to comment with me when I come. Wow, that's a bad trade. Uh, when I comment back to you guys, it's just so much is lost in that translation. And I will tell you, I have I have made horrible mistakes before emailing. Interesting. Emailing supervisors, emailing uh, professors, things like that, where I will say something and mean absolutely nothing from it. And I remember one person <clears throat> I emailed. And this was when I was in, in college for nursing school and talking to my professor. And I ended up being, I was the student council representative for our class. And I was the, the liaison for what they called the, the scholars program. Because there was a group of 20 of us out of the 55 of us who were in the same scholars program where we got our education supplemented. 80% of our tuition was supplemented by... Uh, the institution that I currently work for, as long as we signed a three-year contract with them, and it made it so that you had to work uh, with them for three years post-graduation and all this stuff. So I was the representative liaison for that program uh, for our class, being the student council rep. And, oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I tried to jump down. Where did your leash go? I don't want to lose your leash. I'm going to drop you over here somewhere. There it is. Um, and I was emailing with the lady who was a professor at the school, but as well as a hospital center representative. Um, so she was also like the the representative from 
the sides of uh, from the hospital. And did I just come that way? Yeah, I'm going to go just straight this way, I think. And I emailed her back on something, and we had gone back and forth with a couple things, you know, real quick of, you know, what did what's going on with this, what's going on with that, you know, the class is asking about this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> Could it be? Oh, cow. Cow that looks like donkey. There's some cool horses. I wonder if any of these guys are faster than my than my current horse. Black and white. Whoa, is that really a hole? That is really a hole. Uh, black and white ones. Let's see. Chicken. Can't ride him too well. But uh, I, I wrote an email back, not thinking anything of it, basically thinking I was saying, you know, Hey, you know, you, you understand, you know, the student class is going to be upset with this decision. Um, you know, what, blah, blah, blah. What can we, what can we do to, you know, make it better or something like something along those lines is what I thought I had portrayed in this email. And the next morning I woke up and I looked and I had an email from this person and she just said something along the lines of watch your tone, Jeff. We will talk about this next week. And I was like, Oh God, like, what, what the hell did I say to her last night? Um, and I reread my email and you could definitely read it as the way that I had intended it to be read. There is an abandoned mind shaft down there. You could definitely read it as the way I had intended it to be read, but you could also read it in the way that she took it very easily as well, which was with a much harsher tone and basically me being extremely upset and not responding to it in a like politically correct type of way so i had to i explained to her like the the next week when we met i was like look i was like i really apologize for that email this is what i had meant to say i uh didn't mean for it to come across like that it's just really hard to get the right tone and the right emotion through in an email and she was like, no, 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 I completely understand. She's like, I've made that mistake before too. I didn't know exactly what your angle was that you were going with there. So I just wanted to make sure, you know, things didn't get a little bit out of hand. Um, and I said, you know, I can completely understand how you read it that way as well. You know, I reread the email and she's like, no, no, no. I said, you know, I understand, you know, thank you for the apology. I'm, you know, I'm glad you were able to understand that, you know, how that I could have taken it the way that I took it. Um, but it seriously, like she was very, uh, a very down to earth, laid back type of person as well. So had I written that to somebody who wasn't as understanding as she was, and if they took it in a negative way, you can't really turn back on that. That they're going to take it in that negative way, and that's like all there's really going to be going to be to it. So I was really lucky, but it was really interesting to just hear that statistic that you know only ten percent of what I say is really what gets communicated out there. The rest of it is body language and tone, and that is really all there is to it. Uh, I have a feeling this island. Ugh. Jump, horsey, jump. Jump, frog, jump. <laughs> I just said that, now I have to tell this joke. <laughs> when I was in... Oh, it's too funny, because it's it's the dumbest joke in the world, and it. but it still makes me laugh every time. My ninth grade biology professor... I can't do anything over here. My ninth grade biology professor, or biology teacher, I guess he was, because it was in high school, he told a joke every single year. Everybody knew him by this joke. He even told it at graduation. Um, he's got known by this joke, and it's so stupid, but people always laughed about it because not only was it so stupid, and that's why we'd laugh, but at the same time, it's so stupid that it's funny, and he was so well-known for telling this joke. Like, it was, I don't know, kind of a school inside thing, but he talked about this, this little kid, and he wanted to do a science experiment. So he says, you know, I'm going to measure how far frogs can jump. So he gets a frog, smacks his hand down behind the frog's butt, and he goes, jump, frog, jump. And he watches it jump, and he took out his, like, measuring tape, and he measured how far it was, and he goes, okay, I jumped by, you know, 18 uh Inches. No, I guess I'll jump farther than that. J jumped about three feet or something like that. Single jump. Jumped three feet. So he said, okay, let's do this again. He, he does it a couple times, a couple iterations. Gets, you know, gets an average of like three feet. So he's like, okay, frogs jump on average three, three feet. And he says, you know, how can I make this experiment a little bit better? So, you know, I wonder how far a frog 
can jump if it only has three legs. So I didn't say it was a, you know, a nice joke and a very humane joke, but it, it's a joke nonetheless. So, but either way, he, he cuts off one of the frog's legs. He smashes his hand behind the frog and he says, jump, frog, jump. What are those? Oh, there's the horses again. Okay, good. I actually am intending to go back because I was going to go back to that village to camp out for the night because we still got people online. So I'm going to be unable to sleep the night away. So instead, I will try to seek shelter so I don't die. Maybe do some digging around down here because there was that cave behind this thing. But, so he puts his, puts his hand down behind the frog. Jump, frog, jump. And the frog jumps. Um, doesn't jump as far. Maybe jumps like two feet or something like that. And he does it a series of times and, you know, average about two feet. So he's like, okay, frog with three legs only jumps two feet. So he says, you know, logical progression, where is this going to go? He says, you know, I wonder how far a frog with only two legs can jump. So he cuts off another leg from the horse, or from, from the horse, from the frog, cuts off another leg from the frog, puts it back on the ground, puts his hand behind it, and goes, jump, frog, jump. Makes the frog jump, it jumps like maybe, you know, a, a foot if that, you know, does it again, jump, frog, jump. You know, jump, frog jumps, you know, not, not a good jump, just a, a jump nonetheless, so he marks it down, you know, and gets an average of about a foot after a, a, a series, after, you know, some time. So then again, of course, you know, well, how far can a frog with one leg jump? So he cuts off one leg, the, you know, one leg leaves, one leg left on the frog, says, we need to go deeper. I don't want to hide out in this little thing. Go hide out in... I want to go hide out in that one up top, but I want to be able to do some digging. Maybe I can get into this and do some digging out the back. Let me just get in here. I don't know why I'm using this pick. No, 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 no. You want to get back inside, buddy. I hope he does get back inside. Oh, this one had a door. This isn't the one I was even looking at, is it? Oh, it's a different one, but yeah, it's still, it's still one of those nice high ones that's up here. You're going to stay in here with me, buddy. You're going to be okay. I'm looking for where that... Oh, is that one I wanted to get into? Because I think that cave was over there. Either way. So, you know, one leg left on this frog. Jump, frog, jump. And he... I probably got to start back, actually. You know, frog barely gets anywhere. It basically, like, moves slightly forward and, like, falls over on its side. And he says, you know, jump, frog, jump. Does it again. You know, gets maybe, like... An inch, something like that. So, of course, he wants to now find out. Okay. Oh, come on. How can this randomly happen? I am not going to re-log right here because I'm going to cut my stream if I do. Not going to do that. I need to make this thing work. But he says, jump, frog, jump. Frog, you know, gets, you know, an inch, average of an inch. So what's he going to do? Cut off the last leg. Let's see how far this frog can go that doesn't have any legs. Cuts off the last leg. Puts the frog on the ground. Puts, smashes his hand behind the frog again. You know, jump, frog, jump. Frog just sits there. Says, um, hmm. Jump, frog, jump. Frog just sits there. Tries it once more. So one more time. Jump, frog, jump. Frog just sits there. Okay. Writes down all his results. Tabulates them all. Makes his conclusion at the very end he says conclusion of the experiment frogs with no legs are deaf that's the joke all there is to it can't be that they don't know how to jump it's that they're deaf i really want this to start working what can i do to make this work it, it, well I can, it, f3a will that make this thing <laughs> load again for me nope no it will not Ugh. Unfortunately, guys, yet again, I have to stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can laughter, but it, oh, it's not the best joke at all. I started out with saying how dumb of a joke it was. So if you guys thought you were in for this great joke, I don't know why, because I really I let you know from the beginning exactly what you were in for with that one. Um, unfortunately, I do have to stop the stream again because I, I can't do anything. So. Hold on, maybe I can just pause the stream. Be right back, guys. Okay, so what I did was I 
paused the stream, disconnected, and came back. So it didn't actually stop the stream. I think I'm going to be okay now. Yeah, there we go. I guess that works. I, it looks like I put up like a Twitch logo or something like that when I paused the stream. So that was kind of cool. It's going to be like daylight by the time I get out of here. But yeah, if you guys were expecting a funny joke out of that, I'm not really sure why. Because I'm very straightforward with y'all. So that's the fun of that. But yeah, it was definitely not an entertaining joke. But that's what he told every single year. I'm trying to think. I do have some jokes that I could tell one of these days. But they're not good jokes for a stream. They're definitely not politically correct. Nor are they uh, family-oriented jokes. And I would rather tell them in <laughs> random other times. Today it's not a joke-telling episode. I was just hoping this was going to lead me somewhere because I know there is some caves around this area. I really want to go down to that one. Okay, I'm not getting anything down here. We're going to go back up. But, I don't know how long it's been, but I think I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, the stream will continue, but I think that's where I'm going to end my episode. I really kind of wanted to to go out and explore a little bit more when the sun comes up, which the sun is on its way up. Maybe I'll go do a little bit more exploration real quick first before I end the episode and get back to the stream. This guy is bad. He didn't like that joke at all. He was like head in the corner and he was like, ah. whoa, 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 sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Didn't mean that. Didn't mean that. I was kidding. I didn't come out here at all. Let's do that. Protect him. Oh, man, the moon is directly above me still. I thought it was way farther away than that. Or uh, way farther gone than that. I can actually go to... To the... Um, there we go. To that area down here and see what is in... This cave. I saw it and it looked... What are you doing down here? What are both of you guys doing down here? Guys are fools. Was it behind the well? There was that area that the water was like just rushing down back in here. Ah, this way. I wanted to see what this led to. If it's actually a cave or just a hole. Apparently, just a hole. Yep, nothing. Nothing tall. Let's get through here and back up. Uh, after I, uh, I plan on spending some time this weekend really trying to get that hospital underway. I probably will record most of it and try to make a compilation of some type. But the only problem with comp compilations is that you speed them up and you kind of have to put them to like music or something like that. And as you guys can tell how I am with the music side of things, I usually stick with non-music because I like to be silly. But I would just need to research and find some good music that I could potentially utilize. Those guys really want that, uh, or that, uh, that dude. I'm going to take off through the desert here in the night because it's almost daytime. God, can I not kill a spider for the life of me? Let's get this thing back real quick. Yeah, yes, and let's just leash you up again. Okay, got that. Let's just roll through this desert for a little bit and see what we get. Uh, and there's no good way across the desert. I don't like the rivers when you're trying to ride a horse, especially a horse that doesn't know how to jump right. Oh, man, he made it. He made it. Best horse ever. Not even close. God, look at all these enemies out here. It is pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, this donkey trial might be uh, a little... A little harder than I ever anticipated. Um, it might end up being that I... Oh man, if this thing doesn't load for me too while I'm trying to run through a, an enemy infested desert, it's going to be a real problem. Whew. Can't really see what's going on. 
yeah, I mean, it might end up coming to the fact where I uh, where I do end up breeding a donkey, but I at least want to give it my good effort. Maybe even go check out that area that I already found the donkeys in and see if they still exist. That was relatively far away from my house, uh, but it's an already explored territory, so that's why I was trying to come out here and just check out the new terrain and this and that. And, you know, I obviously found a village that doesn't appear that anybody else found, but at the same time, it's really hard to tell because there was no loot in it. There was no, you know, blacksmith. There was nothing like that. So many other people easily could have already been there and wandered away without ooh, doing anything. Oh, I wanted to, you know, tell people for the, you know, those watching the recording as well as those on the live stream, um, got to check out because I haven't yet. And I'm going to like probably right when I'm done with this video because I've been anticipating it. But there has been made the all girls UHC that good old Fedrin who's in the chat right now. But uh, she is definitely a part of that UHC. And I cannot wait to check that out and see how it goes. There's another witch and see how it uh, uh, see how it turns out because I've been missing some UHC. I haven't watched a good UHC in a while. Uh, so it's going to satisfy the the UHC lust. I have no idea how long it goes. I have no idea how, you know, how well people do. All I know is that I th I'm pretty sure there's two episodes up now. Uh, there might, I know there was the one the other day and I think another one posted, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch any of them yet. So I kind of want to wait until the very end until they're all like there. But unfortunately, I'm not going to do that because I just don't have the the patience to do so because i'm really intrigued by wanting to go see that so go check it out uh, i'm sure you can find it stupid little baby zombie i'm sure you guys can find it because i do not have a link handy or anything like that but highly suggest that if you're watching this video on youtube and not on twitch you'll probably have a link in the description but hopefully my mission will eventually come through i might have i'm gonna have to cut this episode though because i don't want to it to drag out for too long especially with me not really accomplishing much oh but i am coming up to some more planes so let's just or, planes or something that's probably the uh not the planes but that other one that it's called yeah you guys know what i'm talking about jump frog jump that was the i got an awesome jump out of that horse it's because he has all four legs and he is not deaf. Let's see. This is definitely not a planes, but it could lead to a planes. But either way, for the recording purposes, we are going to cut the episode here. If I do happen to find something, I will bring you back in and you'll be able to see. So... Till next time, guys, enjoy. Check out the videos I said. Go tell that joke to your friends. I'm sure they'll love you for it. You'll be the next best comedian ever. All right, see you guys next time.